what is up? Well, this is Jit, it's your girl J18, and I'm back again with another happy view. So, y'all know I am rocking with Brina Forever. Y'all know they are very near and dear to my heart. Um, y'all know this is one of my brands that I 10 out of 10 recommend. Can't go wrong. Their hair, their length is always so consistent. Um, this is probably like my 15th week from them, and I have nothing bad to say. Y'all know that I'm currently doing a series where I am trying to find the needle in the haystack when it comes to summer wigs, get up and go. And y'all, I like this one. This one's a little different. Um, you're going to see throughout the video or the tutorial, the review, however you want to say it, um, how this hair literally has so many different, like, uh, I don't even know how to say it. Like, it can be big. It looks supernatural. It's like... I try to do a fluffy, um, I'm ending it off by doing it in this very defined state because I think it's very, very cute. Um, I don't think I have any wigs in my collection like this, and that is what I love. Um, it's something new. Um, this wig does come with kinky edges, so without further ado, let me tell y'all what wig I'm currently rocking. I am rocking Beautiful Evers Bye Bye Knots, um, 7x5 Lake Closure in the Texture Kinky Curly with the kinky curly edges, okay, y'all? Get into it. Um, and it is in 18 inches. I did do a big chop on it because I just, again, it's summertime and I'm trying to find the wig that we can literally put on and just head out the door. As you guys can see, this is with it being about 75% dry and super cute. If I wanted to make it bigger, I could. But I think I like it like this. I think it's very cute, subtle, and it have people think it gets like, is that her hair? And that is what I love. So again, thank you, beautiful Eva, for watching today's video. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into the review, the install. Yeah. Anywho, and don't forget to add me on Instagram if you want to see how this wig looks throughout. Okay? I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye. Alright y'all, let's get straight into it. So y'all already know, honey, when I pull out that wig at that box, baby, I be like, ooh, I don't even know what direction we gonna go in. But y'all, today, I'm not gonna hold y'all, I was a little intimidated by today's wig because y'all gonna see when I take it out of the package, it was like, okay, what do I do with this? But I just knew that my girls over at Beauty Forever, like I said, the lace and their hair quality is always consistent. So I was like, whatever it is that I need to do, baby, we're going to have to figure it out. The wig that I'm currently rocking is a kinky curly texture, and it came with the kinky edges. And before I, like, glued it down or anything, um, I just wanted to, like, see what it, like, what direction I was going to go in. Like, I didn't know if it was going to need to be glued down. I didn't know nothing. I just knew I had this wig, and baby, I don't know. I like to challenge myself, but honestly, after I combed it out, I was like, oh, okay. I know what we're doing here. I know what we're doing. So at this point, I was just like, we got to see it through. Because, yeah, can't no wig beat me, baby. What I loved about this wig is it was super, super um, light and airy. And it definitely mimics, like, African-American hair texture. So I love that. Um, so if you're, like, one of those queens that don't want to, you know, get silky hair because you feel as if it doesn't, you know, go on us i guess i don't know what i'm trying to say but y'all get what i'm trying to say you want some hair that mimics our hair then this definitely would be the wig for you because when you comb it out you cannot tell me this is not my hair and it was so light and it was not even that hard to like comb through it was 10 out of 10 was like yeah <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> so with these um, wear and go wigs or any wig in general, I have found that this lace spray has literally been my go-to, has literally been um, a life changer, a game changer for me. Um, you can find it in any of your local hair stores or you can find it linked down below in my Amazon storefront. But y'all, without having to do any makeup or anything, you spray this on and you go. And it's also really good when it comes to like melting your lace and stuff. You can spray it on the lace while like melt it down and stuff literally go get this go get it go get it y'all see it okay listen i was like yeah at this point baby i already know what we finna do like get into her she was so freaking cute 
I immediately said, you know what, because I remember the hair having this nice curl pattern when I took it out of the package, I said, I'm going to see what it's going to do once I wear it. And y'all are going to see literally how my face, like, I was in shock because this hair tattoo was so freaking beautiful. Like, do y'all see that? That is so freaking gorgeous. It's just like our real hair. It's like... You know, the strength is be real, and it's like we have a, you know, an afro, and then our natural hair, like when we wear it, the curl pattern just pops out. This wig, I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, at this point, I said, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and define all of the curls just to see what the hair is going to give, and you guys are going to see it. I'm not going to do too much talking because it's going to be self-explanatory. I just use some water in a continuous spray bottle, and I just... Work it through so y'all are going to see it and then I'll come back with the next part. But I was in shock with the curl pattern. And just like that. The more that I look at it, I'm mad that I cut it, but it is what it is, honey. It don't grow back. I'm going in with some gel and some mousse to help me lock those curls in to find that curl pattern some more. Both of these products, you know, the gel I got from the dollar store and then the mousse I got from Walmart. Um, and I just went in and I sprayed some more water. And as you guys can see, the curls are starting to pop a little bit more with this gel in this water. Now, pro tip, when you are defining your, your curls, I highly recommend that you do not touch them. Because if you touch them, you're going to see how the hair reacts. So, I'm going to show y'all that as well. But if you want your hair to stay like this, put your product in leave it don't touch it let it air dry and this is how the hair is going to look throughout the day I opted to go for the bigger hair. I just wanted to see how big the hair could get and how it would look once the hair has been diffused. So I'm going in with my diffuser on high heat on um, the high settings. Um, and as you guys can see, the hair is getting bigger. It still has that frizz. I'm going to go in and cut some face frame and layers only because I feel like that's what is needed to make this look more realistic. So I'm going to do that as well. And you know, after you do this with your unit, I got the hiccup, y'all. Oh, my God. Um... You don't have to do this with child units, but like I said, it's just for me. I want it to look more realistic, so I'm going in and I'm cutting some layers. Also, remember, with curly hair, pull the hair and then cut because it will fool you. Because once the hair dries up, it's going to be shorter if you do not do it that way. So remember to cut. Cut longer than you want because like I said, with a wig, baby, it can't grow back. And as y'all can see, the more that I was playing with it, it was just getting so much prettier. I was like, oh my God, beauty forever. So I'm going in. I did not have a pick, so I just had to use a wide tooth comb. I'm going in and kind of making it a little bit bigger. And at this point, child, I was in awe with this hair. I was in love with this hair. I was just like, yeah, summer, here we go, honey. I could fool somebody, okay? If I was to glue, because I did not glue, this is still glueless. If I was to glue the lace down and, like, melt it, I could fool somebody. Because the kinky edges, they were just chef kiss. But I decided, because after I did all of the work, I was like, I want to see how it looks when I define it. I just want to see it. So you guys are going to see how I go in and I defined it. And this is the final result that I had before I went in and defined it. And this hair is so freaking gorgeous, like I said. If you need any links, it's down below. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one.